Hi everybody, Mike here. Today we're going to take a look at the sexiest boudoir poses of 2019. As always, I want to thank everybody for stopping by, and it's always fun to take a quick look at some of the newer boudoir poses. And this year we're going to be focusing on some of the sexier poses. These aren't for everybody, but if you're putting, looking to put a little bit of an edge in your boudoir session, uh, these are some fun photo ideas that you can look and hopefully you can use in your upcoming session. You know, these videos I make really aren't for, for photographers. This is not really a how-to video for them. It's more for boudoir clients to get an idea of what people are doing and to uh, get some inspiration for their upcoming boudoir sessions. The genesis of this idea is that I shoot so many boudoir sessions each year. Customers always want to know what everybody else is doing and, and get an idea what some of the popular poses are. So I started to come up with lists that I used to give to my clients and that became popular. So it turned into sort of a yearly thing, coming up with some new poses just so people could see them and know what's going on out there in the, uh, in the universe of boudoir. Okay, and as we get going up there, you can see my great building. And as a reminder, in order to have cute boudoir shots, you need to be in the right location. Boudoir is not shot in a dark studio. You know, you really need to do a little bit of homework and find out where your photos are being taken and make sure you are in a proper boudoir location. And that's half the battle with getting cute uh, photos. And secondly, again, these are some of the sexier shots that I've been doing over the past year. These are definitely not for everybody, but if you're looking to spice up your session a little bit, you could take a peek and we'll get underway here in a moment. The crossbody shot has really been one of my favorites over the past few years. And there's really a good reason for that. It's simple for the boudoir client, doesn't involve any fancy gymnastics or any strenuous posing. And when done properly, it really, really is a great and sexy pose. There's a lot of ways you can shoot this shot. Um, you know, there's tons of variations and this is suitable for most body types. Um, you know, I think really at this point, everybody needs a version of this sort of pose in their album. And really all you got to do is lay back and recline on the bed and, and let your photographer do the work. Here in this first example, you can see we're doing a little bit of a pull up on the undies. That's just one of the variations in here. Uh, you can put the hands on the chest. Uh, there's various arm poses that can be done uh, with this. Uh, you can raise your hands up, get them on the side of your head. And you know, this is really a pose with big impact when done properly. And you can see a few different versions that we hear that uh, we do here as well. The AAHD, maybe more explicitly known as the S up, head down, is another pose that's really growing. And my clients have you know requested this more and more over the past few years. And it's a staple in a lot of the albums I'm doing uh, these days. There's no denying the sexiness of this pose. Uh, it's very sultry and suggestive. Um, the one caveat here though is this definitely is not suitable for everybody and every body type. However, I put it in here just because of the high number of requests I have to do this and its, and its popularity. If you've got a great booty, then this is the pose for you. You know, you need a bit of a limber body, and how do I put this a little kind of succinctly here, but uh, a certain natural ability to assume this position. You know, some women just have what this takes, and it's a lot of fun to do. And this is really the payoff for those who have been putting in a lot of work at the gym or yoga, and to uh, really show off uh, a bit in your album. You know, there are a few variations of this, again, which including different hand positions, uh, and arm positions in front of the body and turning your head a bit from side to side. And as far as your photographer here, you know, this is a little tricky actually to photograph properly. And if not done right, it starts to swerve off in a direction that you really don't want to go down. Um, you know, body position is important. If your face isn't relaxed, it's not the easiest thing to be sticking your butt up in the air and uh, a lot of have a strained look on your face doesn't come across cute in your book. So there's a little work that goes into doing this right, but still it's worth it and it has the right blend of suggest suggestiveness uh, without going a bit too far. 
the Booty Pop. The Booty Pop is a newer shot that I developed or invented, I don't know how true that is, which looks great and is suitable for most body types. And this has been a big hit and finding its way into many albums I've done over the past year. This is a good shot because it has a low degree of difficulty and clients seem to really love this one. I personally tend to shoot this a lot in jeans, but there's lots of other options. There's no real reason why you have to use jeans um, here. This is suitable for most people. And the real key here is the higher you can push your tush, the better this shot looks. And this is all about the curves. There are variations here where you can really put your hands in a few different positions, but overall the focus here is around the booty. Um, you know, how your ph photographer can possibly screw this up is really not keeping you straight. He needs to be perpendicular. You know, this pose is 100% about getting your booty to that lower back ratio correct. Um, so as long as he gets that great, you should have a good picture and this will be a real uh, standout in your album. The Peekaboo. The Peekaboo is another really simple but sexy shot that should be in your next album and part of your boudoir session. With booties being all the rage over these past few years, I find there's more and more and more of these shots being requested and winding up in albums. If you're ready to bear those squat-tastic glutes, this is the shot for you, and for good reason. It's very simple to do. Uh, it's great for, again, most every body style, and it's a very easy for clients. All you really have to do is just drop and then pop, and you are good to go. You know, there are variations of this, tons and tons of variations. Uh, again, this is a shot I do a lot of jeans. It doesn't have to be in jeans. So you can find one that works best for you and is, is suitable for you. You know, this too is a shot that is pretty straightforward and, and fairly simple for your photographer to get correct. If they can't, it's time to find a new photographer. This one is all about the booty, you know, and just make sure this all gets lined up and one wrong move and bootylicious turns into blah, you know, so just uh, make sure you're with somebody who can get this shot right. And this is another really fantastic one to put in your album. The Buzzy. Boy, we're really getting down to the point here. The Buzzy has been an underground hit in my posing universe, and now I'm going to push this one out to the masses. Clients have seen this for a long time in my sample books, and more and more and more, this has wound up in albums in one form or another. And is this shot suggestive? Yes, but that's really the whole point to it. And if you're looking to turn up the heat and the sexuality in your session a little bit, this is for you. You know, the vibe has become such a fun prop that I even keep uh, uh, several on hand with me uh, in my uh, building. Although, you know, this kind of old school vibe isn't probably what is trending these days in terms of popular use. It's an iconic shape that delivers a message and uh, so that's why we like to use it. This pose is suitable for most body types. It really has a low degree of difficulty for clients. And a lot like the lay down side shot, you know, you're really just sort of laying across the bed with your head flat, propped up maybe a little bit and uh, make sure your shoulders and hips are in line and then the rest of it is really just the positioning of the uh, of the vibe you know there are variations here where you put your hand in your head and, and and so forth and you know this is more of an implied type of a thing than anything actual is is going on here um, so just keep that in mind we're trying to keep this you know uh, within a certain range here and not to go too far with it I have even developed a few super sexy versions of this, you know, where we have the arm holding out to the side and that's in focus and the, the person behind it is sort of in focus and there's a few top secret versions of this I have, uh, which are really downright sizzlers as well that I've been using over the past uh, few years, you know, and has your photographer will deal with this. Well, this is actually a pretty tough shot to pull off in sort of a cute way. Um, you know, people's hands look all wrong and awkward as bad framing on this and not focusing on the prop. Uh, the grip really somehow weirdly makes this not look so great. And it's taken a while and after some real fails here, I've, I've been starting to pull this together a little bit better and better. Um, so this is another one, again, certainly not for everybody in every album, but for those who want to kick things up a notch, it's a fun shot to try. Well, there it is. 
Those are my favorite poses for 2019. Truth of the matter is, the number of sexy boudoir poses are really endless, and these are just a couple of, of favorites that uh, seem to be growing and I think are gonna perform strong over the next year or so. But as always, be sure to include a good selection of basic poses during your session, as well as all their variations, uh, which will make a good foundation for your album. And after you've got those basics completed, though, you can have fun. You can experiment with these type of sexy shots and improvise. You know, after all, going in for a boudoir session is about having a bit of fun and, and trying some poses you found online or in videos like mine. And ultimately, though, if you're not happy with the results after you're seeing your images, you can simply get rid of them. You don't have to use them. Um, you know, but trying them is half the fun. And as always, uh, if you have any questions about posing or questions about Boudmar, uh, just send me a note. I'm here to help you out. And I will see you next time. Thanks.